Hey there, lovely viewers! In this video, we are going to dive into a topic that most of us encounter in some point in our lives. Attachment issues. Whether it's dealing with emptiness syndrome or saying goodbye to a loved one, it's part of life. But fret not, because in this video, we're going to talk about what detachment is and share some tips on how to cope up with it. First things first, let's get a grip on what detachment really is. Detachment is like this emotional process where you have to let go or step back from something or someone. It usually happens when there is a big change, loss, or shift in our lives. There are a couple of ways to think about detachment. It can mean avoiding certain people or situations that are causing you trouble or stress or anxiety, which can sometimes lead to emotional numbing or the dampening of emotions. Or it can mean building and maintaining boundaries to preserve your mental health. By setting clear boundaries in your relationships, you can avoid the feelings of stress, anger, resentment, and disappointed, disappointment that often build up when limits are pushed or ignored. Attachment issues can be triggered by various life events such as kids moving out, the loss of a loved one, retirement, or just a transitioning into a new phase of life. But how do you know if you're dealing with attachment issues? Well, there are some signs to look out for. First, if you're feeling sad, lonely, or even grieving. Second, dealing with anxiety, fear, or uncertainty. Third is to pulling back from your social life or relationships. Fourth is finding it tough to adjust to changes. If you, this, if you see these signs, in yourself, then you are dealing with detachment. Now for the good stuff, let's now talk about how to cope up with detachment issues. First things first is you have to know how to acknowledge your feelings. It's perfectly fine to admit how you're feeling. Give yourself permission to feel those emotions. It's okay to be sad or anxious when life takes a turn. To seek support. Don't go it alone. Reach out to friends, family, or a therapist. During talking about your feelings can really be a game changer. Third is to stay connected. Keep your social ties intact. Your loved ones can be a massive source of comfort during challenging times. Fourth is to establish new routines. Shake things up by creating new routines and trying different activities. It's an excellent, excellent way. To grow and explore new horizons. Fifth is self-care. Don't forget about taking care of yourself physically and mentally. Whether it is meditating or picking a new hobby, self-care is a key. Lastly is the focus on the positive. Try to see the silver lining. Change can lead to new opportunities, personal growth, or a newfound sense of freedom. There you have it, my wonderful viewers. Attachment issues are just a part of this crazy journey called life. But with a little help and self-compassion, you can ride through the waves of detachment and come out even stronger on the other side. This concludes my discussion about detachment issues. Thank you for watching!